Hi, in this course of C++, now we are going to discuss a very important topic and that is of constructors. Constructors are special member methods of a class with the same name as the class name. When I say methods, that means we can have more than one constructors. But for the time being, I will be talking about one constructor in a one class. So a constructor is a special member method of the class with the same name as the class name here by method i means function i mean function okay a constructor gets executed automatically whenever an object of the class is declared so that means if we have got a constructor in the class and we happen to declare an object of that class at one or more places in the code what will happen is the constructor will get executed on its own now the basic objective now the question arises why do we need constructors the basic objective of a constructor is to initialize the object with values what i mean to say is the instance variables of the object they will be initialized with certain values one thing you will have to keep in mind and that is a constructor can never return a value even though a constructor is a special member function but it can have but it can never return a value even though it can have any number of arguments so you, this is the thing you should keep in mind a constructor even though it is a member function but it is not allowed to return a value but it can have as many as many arguments as required let me show you an example code this is the example code for constructors this is a simple class called books it has got member data book underscore code price you sold uh, you sold stands for unit sold and uh, uh, this using public access specifiers after that i have written this um, constructor uh, and this is called constructor with arguments we will be talking about with arguments without arguments constructors after a short while from now uh, probably in the next lecture so uh, this is a constructor with arguments and uh, let me go to the function main and i would be able to explain it uh, in much easier manner see in method main in function main what i am doing is i am writing books bobj1 that means i am going to create i am going to declare instantiate an object of the books class and see i am passing some values i am passing some arguments over here so the arguments are 909199 please ignore this 80 i have written it mistakenly uh, ignore this 80 because there are only three arguments 909199 right now what will happen is because we are creating an object it will go to the constructor this is the constructor as is evident because this method is this function is with the same name as the class name hence it is a constructor so 909 value it will be automatically executed 909 value will go into this formal parameter book underscore code 1 100 value will go into formal parameter price 1 and 99 value will go into this formal parameter you sold 1 please ignore this value 80 it was given mistakenly so these values will be put into formal parameters these are the formal parameters of our constructor books which was executed automatically when we created this object now this formal parameter book underscore code one like in this example contains 909 what is our objective to initialize the values of instance variables of our object bobj1 so what we are simply uh, supposed to do is to assign these values of formal parameters into respective instance variables so this value of book underscore code one formal parameter which was 909 in this case that will be assigned to this formal parameter book underscore code similarly price one formal parameter was passed was passed 100 value so this 100 value of price one will be put into formal uh, sorry into instance variable price and uh, 99 value was put into unit sold you sold one sorry you sold one formal parameter here we are assigning this value 99 of you sold one into instance variable you sold 
so this is how this that is how this program is working and we can do it for as many objects as we want in the second case in the, on the second statement of my function main what we are doing is we are creating an object bobj2 and we are passing value the same thing will happen 1001 will go into this formal parameter 75 into price one 12 into the formal parameter you sold one but even though the same constructor is getting executed but this time over it is getting executed for the current object bobj2 so one double zero when one value of this formal parameter book underscore code one will be passed to the for to the instance variable of bobj2 book underscore code and same things will happen with uh, price and you sold also so far so good now let me have uh, a program written in code blocks and i need not explain this program because i have already explained this this is your these are the declaration of instance variables and this is your constructor with parameters right that i have explained and i have taken an extra method just to show you the values uh, that will be assigned to the respective objects show underscore data is simply displaying the instance variables of the current object so these statements are the same as i have shown you in the in the in, in the in the slide so bobj1 dot show data would display the value of the object bobj1 all the values of bobj1 bobj2 dot show data would display all the values of bobj2 so when we created these objects constructors for these objects were constructor for these objects were was executed on its own automatically so we are just calling this show underscore data by calling this show underscore data method we are just uh, checking whether the values were assigned or not so uh, press f9 to execute this program and yeah we got it here is our output book code is equal to 909 book price is equal to these are the values of instance variables of bobj1 right and then we called bobj2 dot show data it went into the same function but this the, the values are being shown for the current object bobj2 and these values were assigned to the instance variables of these objects through the constructor so this is how the constructors they work but again i repeat it always remember a constructor can never return a value 